On the economic calendar for today, the S&P Case Shiller Home Price Index, Wholesale Inventories, and Consumer Confidence Index. On the earnings calendar, watch for Aero Environment and National Beverage Group, that ticker fizz because it sells LaCroix. This is how the stock market closed on Monday. As we begin to close out the month of June, money managers are closing out the quarter. Brian Stutland, the founder of Equity Armor Investments, is on top of the market action for us. Brian, are you seeing signs of window dressing in the market as wealth managers try to show some gains for investors at the end of the quarter? Well, Angie, it certainly feels like this has been a little bit of a window dressing, at least over the last few days from what we see. When I see the market move 3% to the upside like we did last week, to me, that's not really a sign of a bull market. That's a sign of a bear market trying to either entice people into the market or shake out some of the shorts. And so when we see those kind of volatile moves back to the upside, I'm a little skeptic of that, especially when you head towards the end of the quarter and man money managers want to see the market marked up to the higher side as we approach the end of June. I'm really looking into July to see if the, this rally can continue to hold and if the earnings picture that comes out in July actually makes stocks rally from there. Then I get a little bit more believable that this is a real rally rather than just some window dressing. What do you think it will take to confirm that the market has bottomed and the rally is real? Yeah, when I'm looking to see if this market is real or not, I'm looking at a couple different things. One, from the technical aspect, the S&P 500, I really want to see a trade above 4,200. That's been a level where we sort of saw some major breakdowns occur. I know that's another 6 or 7% to the upside, but that's a level I get more comfortable that maybe the bear market is starting to come to an end. And from a fundamental perspective, I think we need to see valuations come lower. When we talk about an interest rate environment where the 10-year treasury is trading above 3%, to me that says the price to earnings ratio, meaning that the value of a company relative to the earnings that they're earning is at a better ratio. And a ratio that I we once saw maybe over a decade ago in 2011, we were right about here in the 10-year note, above 3%. Valuations were lower. So that means one of two things. Either stocks need to go sideways and we need to see better earnings growth in these next couple quarters, or stock prices need to come down to meet those earnings prices. And so to me, there could be more downside than there is upside. And that's why that 4,200 level on the S&P, I'm not willing to get jump in until I really see it crack above there. Now, after that point, I would become a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more bullish about the market should that occur. Thank you, Brian, for your market watch. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.